All over the world, humans are taking construction to another level, going beyond what was previously thought impossible to construct unbelievable edifices. All this is in a bid to make life more comfortable for millions of people globally. Most times, when we drive over bridges or walk into skyscrapers, we may not consider the delicate years of work that go into building the fascinating structures we enjoy daily. This, however, does not take away the difficulty of these projects and how some have defied the boundaries of ingenuity. Stick with us as we explore eight of the most difficult construction projects that engineers around the world have dared to embark on. At number eight, the Burj Khalifa. Located in Dubai, the Burj Khalifa is today the tallest building in the world, standing at 828 meters above ground level, 300 meters above its closest rival when it opened in 2010. With approximately 160 stories, 3,000 underground parking spaces, and its primary structure occupying 45,000 cubic meters and weighing approximately 110,000 tons. A project this massive was definitely going to be challenging for engineers. In total, the Burj Khalifa took 22 million man-hours to complete, engaging 12,000 workers per day. One of the first challenges of the Burj Khalifa was the extreme heat the building and the construction team had to withstand, with temperatures reaching more than 50 degrees Celsius in summer. To handle that, an exterior cladding made of reflective glazing with aluminum and textured stainless steel panels was made. 300 cladding specialists were employed to individually hand-cut approximately 26,000 glass panels. The total weight of all the aluminum used on the Burj Khalifa is more than that of five A380 aircrafts. These panels were lifted using a series of cranes and installed by specialists. The hot climate also presented a condensation problem as the structure gave off around 15 million gallons of water. To make up for it, a separate piping system was created to hold a tank in the basement to store the water. Wind loads were another structural challenge that engineers had to tackle during construction. To understand the wind behavior and the amount of stress it could place on the building, engineers conducted over 40 wind tunnel tests. The top structure of the Burj Khalifa was also made to resemble the letter Y, with each of the three wings of the structure buttressing others through this central core. At the base, the structure is built on a concrete and steel foundation consisting of approximately 192 piles, buried 164 feet deep to ensure the stability of its foundation. The combined weight of the concrete used for building the Burj Khalifa is equivalent to about 100,000 elephants. Engineers had to mix the concrete, which consisted of low-density cement with ice, and pour it into the structure at night to skip the hot climate. This cooler mixture was also less likely to crack, Number 7. Gathard Base Tunnel, Switzerland The Gathard Base Tunnel is a project that was conceptualized in 1947 and kicked off in 1999. It holds the crown for being the world's deepest and longest railway tunnel since its completion in 2016. Stretched over an audacious length of 57 kilometers through the heart of the Swiss Alps while laying as low as 2,300 meters below the mountain peaks, this unbelievable $12 billion engineering feat continues to amaze the construction world to date. The construction process of the Gaythard Base Tunnel was as dangerous as it was daring, involving the excavation of millions of tons of rock using tunnel boring machines operated simultaneously at five separate sections to optimize time and cost. The Gaythard Base Tunnel comprises two single-track tunnels, providing a flat and straight route for trains, Unlike the winding and steep paths of older tunnels, this high-speed rail link between northern and southern Europe, connecting Rotterdam in the Netherlands with Genoa in Italy, has significantly increased transport capacity and efficiency, allowing heavier and longer trains to pass through the Swiss Alpine barrier. The engineers on the project had to deal with immense challenges regarding safety, ventilation, flooding, and other geological factors as they pushed the limits of what was deemed achievable in construction technology at the time. Number 6. Palm Islands, United Arab Emirates 
The UAE has come to be known for pushing boundaries in construction technology with various mega-projects like Burj Khalifa and the CL Tower, but their man-made island, completed in 2006, surpassed all expectations while also being the most difficult to achieve. Nikhil Properties, the real estate developer behind the Palm Islands, began constructing the first phase of the project, Palm Jumeirah, on Dubai's coastline in 2001. And this involved dredging and relocating 110 million cubic meters of sand using trailing suction hopper dredgers. Even more impressive is the fact that to build this island shaped like a palm tree with a crown and 16 fronds visible from space, Nakheel Properties used no steel or concrete but depended entirely on sand and rocks to replicate islands found in nature. This remarkable engineering feat cost $12 billion and immediately added 72 kilometers to Dubai's coastline, transforming it into a massive tourism hotspot with hotels, shopping centers, theme parks, and water resorts littered all over it. Number 5. The Netherlands Delta Works As a country, the Netherlands has always struggled with floods and storms because more than one-third of its land sit below sea level. In the past, several attempts were made to hold back the sea, but none was successful. However, in 1953, the North Sea flood claimed over 1,800 lives and displaced thousands more. This prompted the government to establish the Delta Committee, which proposed an ambitious plan to reduce the risk of future flooding. The plan included a series of dams, sluices, locks, dikes, and storm surge barriers designed to shorten the Dutch coastline, thereby reducing the length of the dikes exposed to the sea by approximately 400 miles. The four great estuaries in the southwestern Netherlands were closed with dams that consist of several strings of gates and massive supporting pylons, which, in normal weather, allow tidal seawaters to ebb and flow in the eastern Schelde estuary, thus benefiting the fish, bird life, and the local fisheries. The Oosterschelde Dam, located close to Amsterdam, is a three kilometers long anti-tempest dam consisting of 65 pillars between which one can slide 62 iron floodgates. The height of one of the pillars is 38 meters and weighs 18 tons. When the sea becomes dangerous, the floodgates can be lowered in just one hour. In 1997, a storm surge barrier in the new waterway near Hoek van Holland was built. The barrier consists of two enormous doors mounted on swing arms that can be used to close the estuary in the event of a storm. The Delta project, which took over 30 years to build, was the largest project of its kind anywhere in the world. At the time, most of the equipment needed for such a magnificent project did not exist anywhere in the world and had to be invented. Up till today, the Delta project is not only one of the most difficult, it is also one of the most sophisticated civil engineering projects of all time. Number 4. Jubail Industrial City, Saudi Arabia In 1975, Saudi Arabia began an ambitious construction journey to build the world's largest industrial city, covering 1,016 square kilometers in the heart of its eastern province. This modern-day engineering spectacle, managed by the US-based Bechtel Corporation, stretched the limits of construction, with its first phase costing over $11 billion. The ambitious project also demanded a monthly workforce of more than 20,000 skilled employees on site, racing against time to complete the various structures that make up the complex. Jubail Industrial City houses many heavy-duty companies and other important commercial structures like the King Fahad Industrial Port and Jubail Airport. This complex also contributes to about 7% of the country's GDP. The second phase of the mega-project, Jubail Tuu, commenced in 2006, expanding the industrial city to include more companies, housing facilities to cater to approximately 120,000 people, and a world-class university for 18,000 students. The city, which is home to the world's largest desalination plant and produces 8% of the global petrochemical output, was a true test of project management and resource administration, being constructed in the harsh Arabian desert. Number 3. 
The Great Man-Made River, Libya The Great Man-Made River in Libya is the world's largest network of underground pipelines, spanning 2,820 kilometers, and is responsible for 70% of the nation's fresh water. This mega-project first came to mind in 1960, several years after the North African country unexpectedly found massive reserves of fossilized water in the form of deep aquifers while it explored its grounds in search of oil. However, it wasn't until 1983, when water scarcity became an issue of great concern in the country, that Libya set aside $25 billion to embark on this mega-project that has been nicknamed the Eighth Wonder of the World by its people. During the construction, over 1,300 wells were drilled, with some going as deep as 500 meters to reach the Nubian sandstone aquifer and supply over 6 million cubic meters of water. Some researchers have claimed that the fossilized reservoir may be up to a million years old and that the water accumulated during a period when the Sahara had a temperate climate. Number 2. Panama Canal, Panama the Panama Canal, an artificial waterway that revolutionized global trade by connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and significantly shortening cargo ship routes, is among the most demanding engineering projects ever undertaken for many reasons. This project was first conceptualized in 16th century Spain, but due to how tasking and seemingly impossible it was, it wasn't given any action until 1880 when the French stepped in to build it led by Ferdinand de Lesseps, the builder of the Suez Canal in Egypt. However, after nine insufferable years, the French quit their ambition as they met many challenges, including losing more than 20,000 of their workers to tropical diseases like yellow fever and malaria. But the global economic benefits that lay on the other side of this tasking project were far too important to be ignored, and in 1904, the United States bravely stepped in to finish what the French had begun. Learning from the mistakes of engineers before them, the U.S. adopted a strategy that involved a series of locks and artificial lakes to manage elevation changes in the terrain. Also, paying keen attention to the health of the workers, they tackled the spread of mosquitoes and other disease-carrying organisms, and this dramatically reduced worker fatalities, giving them an edge the French had lacked. On August 15, 1914, after a decade-long construction process, the Panama Canal was opened for use by the American government, ushering in a new wave into the world of global trade. However, the U.S. transferred control of the canal to the Panama Canal Authority in 1977 after signing the Torrijos-Carter Treaties, and things have remained this way to date. Besides reducing sea voyages between the west and east coasts of the U.S. by over 8,000 nautical miles and profoundly improving maritime trade, the canal has also impacted Panama positively, increasing tourism activities and providing the country with water resources. In 2016, an expansion of the project was completed to widen and deepen the existing canal, ensuring it can accommodate ships made in the 21st century. And finally, a construction project that is literally out of this world. Number 1. The International Space Station The top project on our list is the International Space Station, an odd defying structure whose construction began in 1998 and is still ongoing today. The International Space Station is the largest peacetime international collaborative project in history, bringing together the United States represented by NASA, Russia by Roscosmos, Europe by ESA, Japan by JAXA, and Canada by CSA, all working under the vision of furthering scientific research and exploration of the vast cosmos around us. Russia took the lead on this project with the launch of the Zarya module aboard a Proton rocket, which served as the initial unit, and was followed closely behind by the Unity node, America's first contribution to the project. Over the next several years, other countries and space agencies delivered additional modules over multiple missions, including the living quarters of the station, a research laboratory, and a truss structure that provided the framework for the station's solar arrays and radiators. Despite being embarked on by 16 countries, the construction of the ISS proved extremely challenging, 
as it was impossible to build the entire station on Earth and launch it into space due to its massive weight. Instead, it was assembled piece by piece in space, with each part launched on separate missions and joined to the rest of the structure as it entered orbit. This monumental project has consumed a whopping $150 billion, and it is still ongoing as of today, making it the most difficult megaproject the world has ever seen. And that's where we wrap it up in today's video. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.